Virgo. So guys, this is going to be your bonus reading. <laughs> I did promise you, so here we go. As you know by now, this deck is the Tarot of Ancient Whispers. And we'll see what else needs to come through Virgo, okay? Let's keep our fingers crossed that we've got some lovely fresh energy that's going to be infiltrating its way through. Here we go. Archangel Michael, thank you for joining us. This is the TGIF reading, cards are flying. Oh, Knight of Wands. <laughs> this is the TGIF reading for Friday the 25th of October, 2024. You may be fired up and passionate about something, Virgo. It may not relate to love. It could be a project. It could be a life path. It could be your changing direction. Or you could be thinking about a younger fire sign for some of you. Nice ones. Okay, guys. Let's see what this is all about. Okay. Hmm. Yeah. All right. Putting that to one side. And let's get into this. The chariot. Cancerian energy. You may be thinking about uprooting and moving, Virgo, or you may be aware that someone else is considering moving. The Eight of Cups. Wow. The Nine of Pentacles. The Five of Wands. The Nine of Wands. Oh, Virgo, you are sitting in a bit of stress, guys. I think I'm connecting with a Virgo who has strong feelings for someone, or you could even have been dating this person, Virgo. What you're going to be learning is they are moving and possibly quite a long way away. What you're thinking about is when they actually move, I'm going to have no choice but to walk away from this connection and find someone else, Nine of Pentacles. Because with the Five of Wands, I don't want the drama of fighting off the competition and it's going to stress me out with this person being so far away. Basically, I'm going to worry all the time that they're going to be developing a relationship with someone else and potentially not telling me about it at a distance. So what you're saying to yourself, Virgo, is even though it's going to be painful, I might have to just let this person go. Okay. The King of Wands. Virgo, you may be thinking about a fire sign, King of Wands. This could be a very, very attractive guy. Page of Wands, who you have been off and on with, flirting with, dating. I don't think, Virgo, you guys have got very serious. You may feel that he's kept things very light with you on purpose because he had a plan all along to move away from the area. You may have recently had an argument. He might have just dropped a truth bomb Oh yeah, Virgo, just to let you know, in a couple of months, I'm actually going to be leaving the area. And this is you looking a bit shocked. Um, what? You didn't tell me, you know. The Hermit. Virgo, this is difficult for you. You're looking at the past. What you're realising is, wow, that was the reason why this King of Wands kept it so light with me. Didn't want to get serious with me or didn't talk to us about, you know being exclusive, that sort of thing, because they knew deep down that they would be leaving the area. You're thinking about this, the Empress. Virgo, with the energy of the Empress, I think you hoped to marry this person, have a family with this person. You may even have met this person's mother and you thought this would get really serious. What you're recognising now is 
they had no intention of taking this further. And, and you're a little bit shocked, to be honest. Judgment. You may be connected to a Sagittarian for some of you. Yeah, the Eight of Pentacles. What you're realizing, Virgo, is this is someone who's made a judgment call to leave the area for a job. It might be that they've chosen an area that is much better paid. I think what you're recognizing is this is someone who wants to work on their financial stability. And I think you're disappointed, Virgo, to be honest. Yeah, because what you're recognizing is with the Ace of Swords, this is done. Or it surely will be. Yeah, the truth is, this is someone who may have signed on the dotted line for a, another job in a different area. Virgo, this may also be you telling yourself the truth, which is actually looking back at the past. Yeah, this was much more of a friends of benefits type thing than anything else. It's as if you're whipping off the blindfold and you're seeing the truth and realizing that this person had no intention of getting really serious with you. And it's Virgo in the nicer sense. It's just uh, you coming to terms with that. You're coming to terms with it. The world, it's ending because this person is moving to another area. Yeah. Guys. Under the deck, my lovely Virgos, the strength card. You may, for some of you, be thinking about a Leo, King of Wands, strength. Or Virgo, what you're realising is this person may have begun to emotionally detach, say to you, I'm sorry, I can't see you, I'm busy. He may have gradually began to just distance himself, which made you feel very burdened. You may even have thought, Virgo, that he was building a foundation with someone else. I don't think that's the case. Page of Swords. What you're going to be recognising is this is nothing to do with anyone else, Virgo. The truth is, with the Two of Pentacles, this is someone who's sick and tired of being on the breadline. I mean, this is someone who may not have been able to find any decent jobs in the area. This is someone who may have been paid really badly. And this is someone who was sick of it. Four of Cups. The reason why this person at Virgo backed off was they had been thinking for quite a long time that they were ready to move to a completely different area. And Virgo, we're not talking 100 kilometres away. We're talking another city, another state, another country. This was a very big decision for this person to make. So, you know, Virgo, this could have been somebody who lived in a small town or a little village trying to make ends meet, trying to stay optimistic, but it just wasn't working. This is somebody who may have decided, okay, I've got to move to the big city or I've got to move to another state because that's where the jobs are. They didn't tell you before, Virgo, because they didn't want you to feel upset about this. But I think they knew deep down that this wouldn't be a relationship that would last the distance. You two couldn't make a long distance relationship work. And that's why Virgo, they haven't got more serious with you because they knew eventually you guys would part, you know? Virgo with the Eight of Swords, you've been in your head wondering what on earth was going on with this person. Why are they pulling back from me? What's going on? With the Four of Pentacles, what you're realizing here is this is someone clutching hold of money. This is someone who was worried about money going forward you know, maybe living off savings. And that's why, Virgo, this person is making a serious decision to move. I think with the Queen of Pentacles, this is your energy. I think you were hoping that this person would get serious with you. If it's any consolation, guys, this is not a masculine who is ending things with you to be with somebody else. They're not. 
Underneath, they may be as heartbroken as you are, but they don't want a long distance relationship. They've been trying to keep it light because they knew they would be leaving the area. So guys, moving into messages from the angels. What do the angels have to say to my lovely Virgos? Thank you, Michael. Forgiveness. Virgo, forgive this person. You may feel angry and upset. You may feel they led you on. You may feel they should have told you what their plans were. Helpful people. Lean on other people at this time, Virgo. Right? It could be that you start going out with your friends again if you are spending all your time thinking about this guy. Refocus, Virgo, back to yourself. And ask your angels for their guidance. Okay. It's up to you, Virgo. Everyone has free will. You can try and hang on to this if you want to. But this guy, this King of Wands, is not showing me that he wants to bring you with him to this new world, to this new life. He would have asked you, right, Virgo, I want you to come with me. I want to get serious with you. And he hasn't. You can try and hang on to this if you want to, but I think the angels are suggesting you back off gracefully um see it for what it was cherish the memories but leave this behind what else are they saying yeah virgo let go let go it's going to feel painful you're not going to want to do that but they want you to just release okay get more information Get more information about what this guy is doing, where he's going, and then peacefully let it go. Peacefully let it go. It's the right time to let go and think about you, Virgo. It's the perfect time. You may decide to try and detach a few weeks before he leaves to make it easier, you know. I'm hearing if you believe in miracles, if you believe in miracles, Virgo, someone else is going to be arriving on your path. There's no need to worry, Virgo. You may be tempted to hang on to this guy thinking, oh my goodness, I'm not going to be anyone else. I feel the same way about, you know, I'm going to end up by myself. Um, No, Virgo, I feel the angels have got someone lined up for you. I just think that you two were destined to move down different paths. You weren't supposed to move forward together into something serious. Okay. Let's have a look, Virgo, at what this guy would want to say to you. Let's do that. Archangel Michael, what would this masculine want to say to my lovely Virgos? Thank you. This person needs time, time away from an environment, time to sort themselves out, time to get a proper career up and running, which may suggest, Virgo, not that I'm suggesting you guys wait, right? Don't ever wait for anyone, but it might be a surprise for you to learn that this guy feels that eventually he might come back to the area again and then you two could get serious. He may just need to explore a little bit, see different places, experience a different working environment, you know, build up some financial security. And then he may be considering coming back. What else is he saying to my lovely Virgos? Yeah, finances are a problem. Virgo, it's nothing to do with you. He's not interested in anyone else. He is simply trying to get his feet on terra firma and build up a decent financial foundation. And then he can think about romance, right? This is a guy who's just been practical. What else is he saying to Virgo? I feel like 
I can't give you what you need. Virgo, I don't know whether or not you've joked around and said, oh, when I get married, I'm going to have a beautiful big wedding, lots of kids, right? I'm going to have the latest car. I'm going to have a beautiful home. And there's this guy thinking, blimey, well, that's going to be really expensive because I'm clutching hold of four pentacles, right? <laughs> If there's any hope of me actually giving Virgo what they expect in the future, I've got to get my arse in gear. I've got to get myself a really good job and start to build up some financial security. Think about it, Virgo. You may have said it in jest. You may have joked around and sort of flirted and said, yeah, you know, when I meet the guy who's going to marry me, he better have enough money because I'm expecting a really big ring. You may have said it in jest, but this guy may have remembered that and thought, oh my gosh, okay, um, yeah, so I better get myself sorted out and get myself into a really good career. I don't know, Virgo. You may look back thinking, well, I didn't really mean it or I, I didn't really expect him to take it seriously, but there might have been something that you said, even joking around, that he took really seriously. And what he told himself was, I can't give Virgo what Virgo is expecting. Finances are a problem. Okay, Virgo. What else is he saying to Virgo? All right, I still have growing to do. Virgo, you may have realised that this guy wasn't ready. I mean, I don't know, you could be in your 20s. And this is a guy who didn't expect to get serious with anyone until their 30s, maybe. As well as not feeling emotionally ready, Virgo, I think this is a guy who has decided his career has to take precedence. It has to because if he in the future is going to be able to support a family, right, even if the wife works, you know, uh, the guy sometimes is the main breadwinner. This is a guy who's thinking, I need to sort myself out financially and I'm not ready to get serious. So what he's doing, Virgo, is he's detaching from you now, heading off, experiencing a little bit of life. And yes, I've got to be honest, he may well date casually other people in this other area, sure. Um... I can't say that he would keep himself celibate. I don't think that's what he's planning. But then he may be thinking in the back of his mind, well, if Virgo still feels the same, if I come back in four or five years time and Virgo's still single and we catch up again, then maybe we could get serious then when he's made his money, right? When he's grown up a little bit. That's what he's thinking about. I mean, Virgo, you may be heartbroken thinking, well, I don't want my guy to go off and be thousands of kilometres away and meet up with other women. No, but in the nicest sense, he's being practical. He is being practical. What else is he saying to my Virgos? Guys, he's being practical. Yeah, he's not ready. He's not ready to get serious. He's not ready to think about having kids. He's not ready to support a family. He is not ready. Period, right? What else is he saying to my Virgos? You're the first person to make me feel this way. I think this guy got a little bit freaked out, Virgo, because he realised he was developing feelings for you whilst trying to keep this sort of as a friends with benefits thing because he knew in the back of his mind that he probably wouldn't be staying in the area. And he might have thought, well, it's going to be much easier emotionally to leave if Virgo and I don't get too close, right? What else is he saying to my Virgos? Yeah, he's making changes for the better, Virgo. And I don't know, it could well be that these changes are going to benefit you maybe in a few years time, but not now. Not now, Virgo, okay? He needs time. He's got to sort out his money. He's not ready to get serious. He may even, in a nicer sense, be also trying to create distance so that there's no pressure put on him to get serious with you because maybe you've been dating a year and you're thinking, okay, well, when are we going to start talking about getting exclusive? 
when are we going to start talking about moving in together? He wants to back off enough for you to understand that he really is not ready. He may not be ready next year. He may not be ready in three years time, Virgo. And who knows, you may have met someone else by then. But I do think with I Need Time, he may be planning on eventually coming back. Ah, oh, wow. I'll come back for you. Look at that. Look at that. Virgo, in the back of his mind, he may know he's met the one. But I think he is moving away for several reasons. He wants to experience more of life. He may feel that he's not ready to settle down and he may feel that he would find a much better paid job in a different area. OK, yeah, but it's looking positive for the future. But again, Virgo, you may think to yourself, I'm not going to wait for three years. I'm going to wait. I'm not going to wait for this guy to come back when he's ready. No. In which case, Virgo, don't worry, there's going to be somebody else on your path. But I think the divine is giving you a heads up that what this guy is planning is to come back for you when he's ready. Again, you may say no or you may have moved on by then. Up to you. So, guys, let's move into the second reading. Let's have a look and see what the next six months are going to bring. I'll see you there. OK, my gorgeous Virgos, this is the Lightseer's Tarot. And we're looking at the next few months into the future. Now, I don't think this guy is going to change his mind, but we can see, Virgo, what you are going to be doing over the next few months. You may meet somebody else, right? Okay. So, Archangel Michael, what do we have for my lovely Virgos, please, in the next six months? What do we have for my lovely Virgos, thank you, Michael, in the next six months? Nine of Cups, Two of Pentacles. Am I going to be achieving my wish come true or not? You may be wondering, Virgo, whether or not you should try and persuade this guy to keep this relationship going. But if you do decide to do that... I think with the Nine of Cups and the Two of Pentacles, you may be worried that he would start dating someone else and not have the courage to tell you. So he may end up juggling you with somebody else in his area that he's moving to. All right. So guys, let's have a look. Let's see. The Ten of Pentacles. Virgo, you know what you want. You know what you want. You may feel you're ready for long-term commitment. Judgment, Sagittarian energy. You may be connected to a Sag who is wanting to build up to the Ten of Pentacles, very serious about their career. Or with the energy of judgment, Virgo, you may be trying to make a judgment call to totally detach because you are ready to settle down. This guy may not be, but it doesn't mean you have to wait, right? Page of Swords. Virgo, you may find yourself getting a bit antsy with this guy. I mean, I can just see a sort of rather awkward conversation happening here. I can't believe you've made a judgment call to choose money over me, right? You just want to build up a lot of money. You're very happy to detach from me to work on your career. I think that's a bit cold hearted of you. I mean, you may feel angry, Virgo. Because with the two of cups, you love this guy. You love this guy, but he's moving. Ace of Pentacles. Yeah, Virgo, he's moving. Mm. Now, as I said, you may be tempted to talk to him about hanging on to the relationship. I'm OK dating you long distance, but. But Virgo, I don't actually think you are happy. I don't think you're happy, Virgo. Knight of Swords. Wow. All right. There could be an argument. All Ten of Swords, you may, you may say to him, I feel betrayed. 
I feel you've been keeping me hanging. You must have known that you would be making this massive move before and you didn't tell me. Because you didn't want to lose me, but that was selfish of you. Virgo, you're angry. Seven of Pentacles, because what you're thinking about is what a waste of my time. What a waste of my time. I wouldn't even have started dating this guy if I knew that he would be leaving the area. And when he did, he would want to detach from me. You're angry, Virgo. The chariot, because he's leaving. You're angry, Virgo, because he's leaving. Yeah. Cancerian energy. The two of wands... Virgo, you may be tempted to say to him that you'll wait for him. But here's you feeling emotionally confused. What if I say to him that I will wait for him, but he's in this other area meeting lots of other women, you know, taking his pick, not being honest with me, that he will be ready to date other people. And I'd be left there hanging, trying to remain faithful to him at a distance, you know. You don't know what to do, Virgo. Three of Cups. Yeah, you don't know what to do. Is he going to go out and socialise and meet lots of other women? If he is, I, I, I can't cope with that. I'd rather detach. Or is he actually planning on coming back to me, reuniting with me and getting serious? In which case, maybe I should wait. Maybe I shouldn't date anyone else. Page of Pentacles. But Virgo, it's as if you don't want to waste any more time. You're already looking at the past, feeling as if he sort of betrayed you. With the Page of Pentacles, you may think the best option is to stay in contact, but as friends. So stay in touch with each other, right? And see how things go. See how things go, Virgo, right? Because, yeah, there's your King of Wands again. You're probably dating an Aries Leo or a Sag. You're so, so attracted to this guy. What you're thinking about is that would be the best thing to do. I'm going to push down my feelings. I'm going to push down my hurt. I'm not going to go off in a strop and say to him, I never want to speak to you again because I could burn my bridges. I may regret it. So I'm not going to allow him to keep this going at a distance because I don't trust that potentially he would be celibate, faithful to me because he may be thousands of miles away, Virgo, and everyone's human, right? But what you are going to do is say to him, OK, let's not call this a romance or a relationship, but let's keep the friendship, right? Let's keep the friendship. Page of Pentacles. Let's stay in touch. And then Virgo, you're not going to feel bad if you meet somebody else. And if you find out he's dating someone else, then you guys wouldn't have been intimate anymore. He would just be a friend of yours and it would be easier to emotionally detach and really let him go. So I think with a page of pentacles, you're going to try and stay friends. So my lovely Virgos, underneath the deck, the sun, yeah, he's moving a long way away from you. Could even be to another country. Leo energy for sun. Eight of swords, you're in your head, Virgo. You're in your head. Could I cope with a long distance relationship? Five of pentacles, you know you'd feel left out in the cold. But I think what you're also realising, Virgo, is this is a guy who wants to better himself. You may know, because you guys have been dating, that he might have complained about how badly he was paid or how awful his job was. You may think to yourself, yeah, I get it. It makes sense. It's not good for me because I'm going to miss him. But I understand from his perspective where he's coming from. Temperance. Sagittarian energy again. You could be connected to a Sag. You may feel you want to wait, but with a five of cups. Mm, if he's a good looking guy, Virgo, you may feel, yeah, he's going to meet someone really quickly. He's going to meet someone really quickly. Nine of wands. You'd be too stressed out, Virgo. If you tried to hang on to this as a relationship, 
you may feel that it would just lead to heartbreak. You may feel with the Eight of Pentacles, he'd meet somebody in the workplace. But with the energy of justice, who knows what might happen in the future, guys? He may come back with a Six of Cups and you guys may end up getting serious, you know? So, Virgo, this is what's going through your mind in the next few months. Let's have a look and see at what exactly is going to happen, okay? The Three of Pentacles. You've already built a foundation with this guy. I think you're keen to keep a friendship going. This is you, Queen of Pentacles. Mm -hmm. Empress. Oh, the Magician, Virgo, Scorpio, Gemini. You know what, my beautiful Virgos, I think you want to manifest getting serious. I think you're so ready. I mean, you're sitting in the Queen of Pentacles, you're sitting in the Empress energy, you're thinking about getting married, having kids, right? Being a wife. That's what you really want to manifest. All right, Page of Cups. I think, Virgo, what you're going to say to this guy is, look, Page of Cups, I was developing feelings for you, but I have to be honest with you. Yeah, we can stay in touch as friends, but don't expect me to be single when you come back because I am ready to build a life with someone. You may not be, but I'm ready. I'm ready. You go off with the energy of the fall. You go off. You live your life. You experience what you need to experience. You build up a really strong career for yourself. But as far as I'm concerned, I'm going to be single. I'm going to be single. And so I think with the death card, we ought to let this go. Live our separate lives. We're heading in different directions. Because Virgo, what you're realising is with the Four of Cups, you don't want to wait. And also there will be a danger, Virgo, of you waiting for this guy and then him reaching out and saying to you, I'm sorry, I built a life for myself in this area. I'm not coming back. And then you may feel, well, I've wasted another three or four years of my life. You don't want to do it. It's a risk for you. I think you were prepared to keep this going as a long distance relationship. But looking at the practicalities of that Virgo, I don't actually think you wanna do that. I don't think you wanna do that. There's too much fear with the moon. There's too much fear. I mean, in the nicest sense, it would be easy for him to say, oh yes, Virgo, I'm faithful to you. How would you know if he's living in another country? You wouldn't know for sure. And yes, you know, there's this whole sort of scenario of well you know if we're in a relationship we trust each other yes but everyone's human all he needs is to have a few drinks after work and a woman who's very attractive to come on to him and he's suddenly dating this other woman and he may not have the courage to tell you and if you found that out having waited for him having kept yourself single for maybe two or three years you'd be devastated so you're looking at the reality of this, Virgo, and I think what you're realising is this is not going to work out. And I think you're ready to get serious in the next year or so, if, you know, if you meet the right person. All right, my Virgos, moving into an oracle deck. Let's see what the universe has to say. Let's see. Protection. I think you're being protected by the divine, Virgo. And it's also the energy of you protecting your heart. Protection. The path. I think the universe is asking you to move forward in a new direction. With the number eight there, that's all about progress. 
choose a new direction, Virgo. This guy is, right? This guy is choosing a new direction. Maybe it's time for you to do the same. Maybe. Maybe, my lovely Virgos, right? Faith. Have faith in your dreams. Also have faith that you will find your own stability with a three and a one. Under the deck, Virgo, release. I think the universe is asking you to release this guy and to think about your own future. If it's meant to be, he will come back. If it's not meant to be, he won't. Give the reins to the divine, Virgo, okay? All right, guys, as always, we're going to ask Archangel Michael for his closing message of guidance. Archangel Michael, what would you want to say to my lovely Virgos, please? Thank you. What would you say to Virgo? Okay, very simple. Decide to be happy now. And the prayer reads, thank you for helping me open my heart to happiness, joy and bliss. I'm now willing to see all of the goodness in my life. Virgo, appreciate where you are in your life. Kick up your heels, right? Spend time with friends. Do things that make you happy. Let this guy go. And if he's meant for you, Virgo, he will come back. All right. So I'm leaving the reading there. Take care of you. Have a lovely weekend. I hope you've enjoyed this bonus. And of course, I'll be back before you know it with your next set of readings. See you soon, people. Bye now.